Hi, Gary Hoover here. One of the things that we talk about in my class, The Art of Enterprise, and I talked about in my book, as, as far as entrepreneurial thinking, how to think like an entrepreneur, one of the key ideas is understanding your context, understanding what's going on around you, and also as you think about your customer, seeing things the way they see them, putting yourself in their shoes, and seeing it in the context they see it in. So like, you know, if, you, if you're an entrepreneur and you have a consumer-oriented product or a restaurant or retail store or whatever, and you want to make a TV ad and you hire an ad agency or whatever and they make the ad, then you go down to see the TV ad. In my experience, where well, you go down to the little uh, studio room, the little theater, and you watch your ad and they do this clock. If it's a TV ad, they 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, and then 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then there's your ad. And then you watch your 30-second ad or 60-second ad or 15, and then and, and everybody, well, you know, either, oh, that wasn't very good. <laughs> Everybody's embarrassed. Oh, it was great, and let's celebrate and drink champagne, whatever. Thing is, there's never going to be a customer that sees your ad like that. Your customer is going to have, you may have this beautiful flowery ad for this wonderful perfume or whatever, and real sexy, smooth, silky ad. But it'll follow an ad that's, Hi, I'm Joe Blow, and I'm giving away Kias this weekend. If you come down, I'm just going to give you those cars. Get your butt down to our place and hurry up. We close at noon. And then, and then your nice, graceful ad. No, you got to see things in the context that the customer sees them I in. I've seen retail chieftains that fly into a city, say, uh, uh, oh, I'll pick on Circuit City. It was a great company. It's gone now. Fly in to see all the Circuit Cities in Austin while they go to store number 852 in North Austin and store number 421 in South Austin and then the other Circuit City on the west side of town and then they get in their plane and they leave or get on the airliner. Hey, no customer ever saw Circuit City that way. Every customer saw it just coming right out of a Best Buy or on the way to Best Buy. Or they were sitting in their car like I do now, clicking on their cell phone, looking at um, a B&H photo in New York or some competitor. So understanding things in context, context and having a bigger, more all-inclusive view of the customer and the way they relate to the world is so important and, and putting yourselves in their shoes. So, so an example of this, one of the ideas that I really promote, I certainly think retailers ought to do more of this, but all this stuff also applies to e-commerce and online people and, and I'm sure it applies to business to business as well as business to consumer type things. But one thing is what I call end to end thinking. So the example I usually talk about is airlines. The airlines seem to think that their real business, the real guts of their business, is to pick you up at, say, gate number 26 at the Austin airport and put you in that nice silver tube and then fly you safely and on time to gate number 14 at Chicago Air or whatever. And so that's when their job starts and that's when their job ends. And yet if you really look at the average traveler and their average trip, they probably spend half or less of the total time in that silver tube between those two gates. They certainly send a, spend a major chunk of it, at least 30 or 40 percent, and a lot of times over half, getting to the airport, going through security, dealing with checking baggage on the other end, getting baggage out, uh, getting to the rent a car or whatever, all that jazz, and dealing with the taxis, you know, and so that, that flight is just part of the picture. And if you go back to like the 1930s, the airline industry was starting up. If you were flying out of New York City, you could go to the airlines terminal. Uh, and that's a building in the center in New York City, in Manhattan. And there's, oh, you're leaving on a 6 o'clock flight. Okay, we'll be here at 4.30, and then we'll put you in a bus and take you right to the plane. And we'll take your luggage. And, and if I recall right, when I was in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, you get on their, like their subway system to go out to the airport or the train. You check your bags before you get on that train. And then you never see them again. You tell them what flight you're going on, and fine, see you later. You'll pick up your bags in Austin, whatever. So thinking about things in a, more, in a more total perspective and understanding how they fit in people's lives. And actually what triggered me to talk about this today is today's Wall Street Journal had a nice article about the uh, ho hotel lodging industry. And they said, well, what they, they come to realize that their customers, what do they do? They get up in the morning, they come down to the lobby, and then they go directly from the lobby to the nearest Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts. And overwhelmingly, that's what people do. And they knew it, you know, and, and, but they all got to go through that lobby on the way out. And I'm sure a bunch of them are stopping the desk saying, where's the nearest Starbucks or whatever? Well, I guess with cell phones and everything, less of that. But hey, 
So now they're saying, well, why are we letting all that business get away? So they're turning their lobbies into Starbucks and Dunkin' Donuts or whatever, you know, either a clone or I don't know if any of them are actually signing deals with Starbucks. It was very smart, Barnes & Noble, to do that and helps perpetuate them and the, the challenges facing the bookstore industry. Anyway, the thing is, is think about the whole process. Think about the pre sale the, and the post sale, the pre-event and the post-event. Think about what goes on before. Think about the customer from the very first time they hear of your place until the very last time that they ever hear about your place or think about your place or call you for service or whatever. And the more you can do this comprehensive end-to-end -end thinking. Uh, uh, Amazon, uh, 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 UPS and Amazon are wedded at the hip. UPS and FedEx, both great companies. Well, all three are great companies. But the thing is, without UPS, Amazon ain't happening, you know? And so putting that all together is so important. And thank you for the time, for your time. I'll see you later.